definition, a capacitor is a device used for the storage of electrical charges. Full stop. The second symbol for a capacitor is the second symbol for a capacitor is the second symbol for a capacitor is your address. So this is your second symbol for a capacitor. This. Um, it's 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 similar to the second symbol for what's called a battery or a cell. They are similar. Okay. Uh, for cell, you have this. So this is your second symbol for a cell, of course, a battery. So different between the capacitor. This is for the capacitor. This is the cell. The difference is that for a cell, as you can see, one of these lines is longer than the other. This is for a cell. For a capacitor. Uh, both lines are of equal length. So that's it. Um, yeah, you have this. Next up, let's take down. Um, it is discovered that the electric charge, it is discovered that the electric charge Q, it is discovered that the electric charge Q flowing through a capacitor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its terminal in bracket V is directly proportional to the potential difference across its terminal in bracket V that is so look at this so that's this. That is you're saying that Q is directly proportional to V. So we have um, this one here. Um, next up, of course, in mathematics or in science, mm -hmm. if I have this sign here, your proportionality sign, take this man off and introduce a constant. In this case, I have that Q is equal to put C and V. If I have that Q is equal to C V. We are where C is the constant, where C is the constant of proportionality, for the capacitance of the capacitor, where C the constant called the capacitance of a capacitor. So here's your thing. If I have that Q is equal to CV, we said Q is the charge. Um, charge obviously measured in volume on C. C is equal to capacitance measured in farad. That's F. And V is said it is potential difference. Potential difference across the terminals of the capacitor measured in volts. That V. Alright, so this is the two. Uh, C, Q equal to C, V. Now we have this. Let's just do something mind up. If you see that Q is equal to C, V, what C here? From here, C is equal to divide by V, divide by V. V cancels out. So it becomes Q all over V. That's C from okay? here. Also, from this now, if you see that Q is equal to C, V, from here, make V subject of the formula, divide by C, divide by C. I'll have that V is equal to Q over C. So these are like your three expressions. You know, you make charge subject of the formula, or perhaps um, the voltage or potential difference. And of course, too, you have um, the capacitance. Alright, so please also note what to call, note the unit space. Alright, uh, next up is, next up is, 
arrangement of capacitors. Arrangement of capacitors. Arrangement of capacitors. A capacitor is a device used for the storage of electrical charges. Full stop. The second symbol for a capacitor is the second symbol for a capacitor is the second symbol for a capacitor is your address. So this is your second symbol for a capacitor. This. Um, it's 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 similar to the second symbol for what's called a battery or a cell. They are similar. Okay. Uh, for cell, you have this. So this is your second symbol for a cell, or of course a battery. So different between the capacitor. This is for the capacitor. This is the cell. Different is that for a cell, as you can see one of these lines is longer than the other. This for a cell. For a capacitor. Uh, both lines are of equal length. So that's it. Um, yeah, we have this. Next up, we stick down. Um, one line is this paragraph. We stick down. It is discovered that the electric charge, it is discovered that the electric charge Q, it is discovered that the electric charge Q, Flowing through a capacitor, it is discovered that the electrical charge Q flowing through um, a capacitor is directly proportional to the potential difference across its terminals. In bracket V, is directly proportional to the potential difference across its terminals. In bracket V. That is. So look at this. So that's this. That is, you're saying that Q is directly proportional to V. We have uh, this one here. Yeah? Um, next up, of course, in mathematics or in science, if I have this sign here, yeah? your proportionality sign. Take this man up and introduce a constant. In this case, I have that Q is equal to both C and V. I have that Q is equal to CV. We are we are C is the constant. Where C is the constant of proportionality. For the capacitance of the capacitor, we are C is a constant called the capacitance of a capacitor. So here's your thing. If I have that Q is equal to CV, we said Q is a charge. Um, charge obviously measured in volume on C C is equal to capacitance measured in virus that's F and V is said it is potential difference Potential difference across the terminals of the capacitor measured in volts. That's the Alright, so this is your uh, C, Q equal to CV. Now we have this. Let's just do something minor. If you see that Q is equal to CV, what's C here? From here, C is equal to 
divide by V, divide by V, V cancels out, so it becomes Q all over V, that's C over here. Also, from this now, if you say that Q is equal to CV, from here, make V subject of the formula, divide by C, divide by C, I'll have that V is equal to Q over C. So these are like your three expressions. You know, you make a chart, subject of the formula, or perhaps um, the voltage or potential difference, and of course, too, you have um, the capacitance. Alright, so please also note what to call, note the are units, please. Alright, the, 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 term, the term capacitance was covered by a man called something something Farad. So I also want to say the, the units, the units of parameters are often named after the person that discovered it. So the man that discovered a chart is called something called you. Right? The person that discovered capacitance is called Farad. The person that discovered the difference is something both. So when you say both, both the name of the dead man. Same thing with Farad. Same thing with um, Koli. Uh, next up is next up is arrangement of capacitors. Arrangement of capacitors. Arrangement of capacitors. Capacitors can be take down. Um, Arrangement of capacitors. Capacitors can be arranged in two ways. Number one, series arrangement. Number two, parallel arrangement. Arrangement number two, parallel arrangement. Let's discuss that piece. Number one, let's discuss number one. This is the end-to-end -end arrangement of capacitors as shown below. This is the end-to-end -end arrangement of capacitors as shown below. This, when you write the end-to-end -end, this way, right? Look up this way. End to end. This is it. End to end arrangement of capacitors as shown below. We sketch this. I have C1, C2, and C3. I have C1, C2, and C3. For three, for three capacitors in series, arranged as shown above. For three capacitors in series, arranged as shown above. Their equivalent capacitance is given by 1 over CAQ equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. For capacitors in series, the equivalent is given by 1 all over the inverse of the equivalent capacitance is equal to 1 all over the sum of the other ones. So this is um, capacitor arrangement in um, series. That's it. No big deal. Example 1. Example 1. Example 1, take down. Three capacitors of capacitances. Three capacitors of capacitances. Two microfarad. Three microfarad and four microfarad. 
are arranged in series. Are arranged in series. From point A to B, please capital A, capital B. Three capacitors of capacitances, two microfarad, three microfarad, and four microfarad are arranged in series from point A to B, as shown. Okay, from point A to B. Full stop. Draw the circuit diagram for this arrangement and find their equivalent capacitance. Draw the circuit diagram for this arrangement and find their equivalent capacitance. Look at this. My, my focus for this class will be on how to sketch diagrams and how to do uh, circuit reduction technique. That's my focus today. Before then, let's get some um, little things done. Look at it. Um, obviously, for this one, it gave us three capacitors with this value. It said it's in series. If it's in series, that means it's what there, um, side by side. Now listen, listen. Series can be any way. You can choose to use, they are just just simple. Use a straight line to represent them. I can use this, this one here, yeah, and do one, two, one, two, one, two. Straight line, that's series. I can do it this way, like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. Straight line, is still series. If you want to some cases, you can slant it. I do one, two, one, two, one, two. So whether this one here, yeah, or this, or this. So far, the straight line is also same. It's still same. All right. For this one here, I'm taking the basic form. So I'm taking this, uh, this one, two. This one here, one, two. Then this one here, one, two. So you have this. Call this point A. Call this point B. It said two microfarad here, yeah? two microfarad, three microfarad, four microfarad. So you have this. When it comes to solving, so this is my point B and B. That's a terminal. They call the terminal of uh, capacitors. Why is this a series arrangement? Because for this one here. The capacitors are arranged side by side or end to end, sorry, end to end. So I'm having from here. This one starts here and ends here. So the end of this comes to this, and then it's like this. That's why it's called a uh, series. It's end to end. This end to this end. This end to this end. So I have this one here. If you're done with this, what's next? Next up, you apportion uh, C1, C2, C3 to each of them. So I'll say, let C1, call this C1, let C1. B equal to 2 microfarad, C2 be 3 microfarad, C3 be 4 microfarad. So I have this. So I'm having C1 as 2 microfarad, C2 3 microfarad, and C3 as 4 microfarad. I'm asked to find the equivalent. Um, for series arrangement, This one was micro, this was mega, 
this was, um, let's say, Pico, first of all, convert them before solving. But of course, they are saying it's a long order. So I'll just use the numbers instead. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4. So I have this. So 1 over CEQ is equal to, take LCR, 234. What's the LCR? 12. Right. 12 over 2, 6 times 1, 6 plus 12 over 3, um, 4 times 1, 4 plus 12 over 4, 3 times 1, 3. So I have this. So I have 1 all over CEQ equal to this, 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 then C all over 12. To get this man simply in back, turn it upside down. This one now becomes CEQ all over 1 is equal to control here upside down 12 over 13. So we can say that the equivalent CEQ equal to 12 over 13 micro. Alright, so that's your answer. Um, if you demand your answer in this map form, no problems. I'll uh, have that CQ and equivalent capacitors equals, please give me this space, what do you have? 0 0.92 point, point micro uh, uh, volts. So that's how you do this one. Alright, so let's look at the second um, type of arrangement of capacitors known as the parallel arrangement of capacitors. Um, but two, parallel arrangement of capacitors. All right. So for series, you said for series, it is the end-to-end -end arrangement of capacitors. For parallel, it is the side-by-side -side arrangement of capacitors. So for parallel, the keyword there is side-by-side, side-by-side um, -side arrangement of capacitors, as shown below. So here's what parallel connection looks like. Call this C2, call this C3. So it happens. Um, for parallel connection, the equivalent um, capacitance CEQ is got by just adding um, is got by just adding the available um, capacitance to become C1 plus C2 plus C3. So this is how we get equivalent capacitance for parallel arrangement of capacitors. We'll take a sample problem and see how we solve problems involving parallel arrangement of capacitors. Alright, example please. Three capacitors of capacitances. Two microfarad, three microfarad and four microfarad are arranged in parallel. Are arranged in parallel. Find their equivalent capacitance. Find their equivalent capacitance. So the answer is very simple. I will have that the equivalent capacitance is equal to the set at the bottom. It becomes 2 microfarad plus 3 microfarad plus 4 microfarad. If I add this, I have a there. 9 microfarad. That's all. For parallel, add them up straight. So I have 9 microfarad. So you have this. Yes, here's a popular question. They will say, you're given three capacitors. And they said, you're expected to arrange them in such a way that you have a maximum value of capacitance. Listen, you're given three capacitors and you're expected to arrange them in such a way that you have a maximum um, amount or value of capacitance. Which should you use? Is this series or parallel? Which of them? Huh? Please check. I use the same example for series. Abby, what was your answer? Zero point what? So for what I did this month, there is the same value 
I arrange this thing here in series. I have 0.92 microfarad. Now, when I arrange this one here in parallel, I now have there 9 microfarad. So this means that if I arrange capacitors in parallel, if you give me one there, a greater value than what arrangement is what is series. Please take note. Take note. So ask which of them gives you maximum output. Is it series or parallel? For capacitors, the answer is parallel. For resistor, the answer is series. For binary.